Nobody knows when the next version of ZBrush is coming out, but whenever it is, it's too long from now. So to tide you over until then, I have a fresh new update to my independent plugin, Ryan's Tools. Let's see what I've got waiting for you. Now I made a lot of little tweaks and bug fixes under the hood that you probably won't notice. However, there's one new feature and two big upgrades to existing features. First an upgrade to one of your favorites, the Amp Detail Brush. It's great for instantly exaggerating detail. It used to work only on models with subdivision levels, but now it works on any model, like this model that is DynaMeshed without subdivision levels. So just brush on that exaggerated detail. Next, there's a new button called Shadows in this new section I made called Viewport, just to group these like uh, features together. So Shadows just simply toggles on and off the sort of fakey shadows that ZBrush adds in the viewport. Lastly, and here's a big one, in order to make ZBrush more streamlined, I realized that one of the biggest ways that it doesn't behave like other programs is in how you delete things. So I have updated the trash button so that now in addition to deleting entire subtools, if you have a mask or a selection, it will either delete the mask or it will delete the hidden part. So let's just try it out. I'm going to mask off the ear here and hit Control X. And it just simply deleted it. Now if we make a selection as well, say something like that, Control X, now it's going to delete whatever was hidden. Now if I just undo back through this, and we don't have any masking or any selection, I hit Control X. So now it's just going to delete that entire subtool, which you can undelete with untrash. Okay, so if you assign Control X as the hotkey to the trash button, it will make deleting anything just intuitive and simple and straightforward. It will even preserve subdivision levels if possible. As always, this plugin is free, but please make a donation if you can to help support the work I do. The download link is in the video description. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.